name is Nia Moda. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I saw this very cool long throw mock-up and I'm going to show you how you can edit it using Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, there is an alternative for you. So we can use Photopea. Alright, so I'm going to reload it now. Alright, I'm going to reload it and show you from the beginning how to edit it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a screenshot of the parts that I'm going to be using in my design. So I'm going to go to my YouTube studio and I'm going to go to content. Okay. I'm going to screenshot this because I am going to definitely need it. I'll come over here. I will screenshot this. Alright. Okay. So let's go now. So click on file. Click on open. Click on file. Yeah. Then I'm going to locate the file that I've been downloaded. Right, so you can get this from free pick you don't have to pay for it it is it's available on their website so i'm going to open this one here all right so i'll have a link in the description so that you can download it and practice for yourself so it takes some time and then it loads you can see the template here click on this first one so that you see exactly what you'll be working with this is it all right now let's begin the work click on the layer all right you see mock-up where you have mock-up click on the drop icon okay then scroll down where you have mock-up one okay now what you have mock-up one double click on this boss here i see that now i mean this very boss that mock-up one boss there double click on it like this when you double click on it to open when it opens like this take out use the eye I, I drop icon to remove it then click on this um this size yeah this size here yeah. if you want to get it this is it this is the image size are you seeing it 970 for the width 183 for the height so i'll come over to pixel lab and i'll do my own design the way i want it because i want it to fit in exactly so this is the size so i want this design to be the first thing that will drop all right this design to be the first thing that will drop in this particular mock-up right to get to achieve that all i have to do is to come over here now because this size this is the size already i you seeing it now exactly the way it is right here you can see it this is it this is what i'm showing you exactly the way it is there so all i'm going to do right here i'm going to save this all right i'll just save it it has been saved then i'll come over here i'll click on file open and place and i'll place it all right and i'm going to locate it the recent one here it will be placed exactly the way it is then i click on file i click on save smart object and then it will be saved Go back to the phone you'll see that it has been saved are you seeing that now okay it has been saved but i want to do something more so that everything will be seen because now it's looking like it's not really it let me show you what i'm saying so i'm going to do this right here i'm going to put a a shape from up there all around this whole shape then i'll bring this guy to the front 
all right then i'm going to reduce it a little and i'll place it at the middle all right like that then i'll i'll save it again now the reason i'm doing this is so that there'll be space here so let's go back again this is it click on it open and place open and place and then let's load it again all right so let's try and save smart object again all right so click on this phone here and you'll see it all right i think this is better so when you are done with that now the next you want to do is to change the other mock-up so click on this click on this and go to mock-up 2 now where you have mock-up 2 you click on this guy here this mock of two boss this one there all right double click on it like this it will open this guy for you all right so the size is this so for mock of two you come over here where are you where are you this is mock of two all right the size is this are you seeing it now that's the size this is for the mock of two all right so um what do you want to be here so you decide what you want to appear there so i want something else to appear there let me say let me bring in this let's bring, let's use this i want this guy to appear the top content all right so i'm just going to do it like this from here to there all right i'll centralize it all right then this this first one here i'll just make it white and then let me centralize it also okay so i want this to appear there so i'm just going to click on save it has been saved okay so i'll come over here now now click on file open and save and then i'll open it here like this and if you drop exactly the way you see it now if you drop like that there and i'll click on file again and click on save smart object smart object updated i'll click on this phone here and i'll see it are you seeing that now okay so for the other one that is there um we can get something else okay so let's check Go to Moko 3. Go to Moko 3. Where is it? See Moko 3 here. Double click on that boss again. That is in Moko 3. This one here. Are you getting me now? Click on it. Double click on it. It will open it. Alright. Like this. It has opened like this. Alright. So you decide what you want to put right there. Alright. So let me put something there. So for my mockup theory, I'm going to open this guy here. This is mockup theory. So what do you want to be there in mockup theory? So let's let me check something. Mockup theory, I want to put my logo. All right. So um, I'm just going to check it. Check the way it is. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go. So I'm just going to make this white. All right, then I'm going to just going to adjust this here. Okay, so I'll centralize it. All right, then I'll save. Just save it. All right, that will save. Then come over here. Then import it. Open and place. All right, go to recent and then you place it like this. You see it now, very beautiful. Then click on file, click on save smart objects. It has been saved. Then go to this. Click on this first menu. There you see it there. Are you seeing that now? Now the last thing that is there is um okay. Let's check it. Let's check it. Just go over here. Go over there. You see mock of four. Double click on it like this. All right. This is mock of four. You see download our templates. All right. So. So what I want to write there is register for YouTube masterclass. 
so i'm gonna go over to this and i'll go over to e um, this, is, this is it okay so without wasting any much time just come over here change this to white all right then come over here okay just type youtube money masterclass all right so that's just it then click on this and you do this and uh, okay let's make it bold all right so let's centralize it like this all right so go to this centralize this Right, so I'm going to save it now. I'm saving it. It has been saved. Then go to your file again. Click on this file. All right, click on file. Click on open and place, and then you place it there. All right, it has been placed. Then click on file again. Click on save smart object. Smart object has been saved. As you can see, it's here. I think that now. Let me show you. I seen it YouTube money masterclass all right so everything has been saved but the phone I did I don't like the phone so I want to change the phone to a black phone all right so to do that I'm gonna click here I'll go to you see what I write phone color all right you see the phone color so this place that I write in phone color here you will double click on this color to change the color so i'm going to double click on the color to take me to the color selector so i want to call the phone to be a black phone so i'll just bring my cursor here where there's black all right and i'll click on ok and you check that the phone has become black i want the phone button by the side to become white so i'm going to go to phone buttons and stripe color i'll double click on where the color is and I will change it to white. I will press OK. You can see that it has been changed. I want the background to be transparent, but the shadow remains. So I'll go over here. I will go to where you have uh, background. Are you seeing it now? Or you have background. So I can just delete the background. Delete the background. All right. Are you seeing it now? The shadow still remains, so I delete the background. So now I'm done. I can save it now. So go to this, click on um, export as PNG. Export as PNG. All right. You can see everything is looking so cool. As you can see it now. All right. So I can go over here and then I will click on save. And my download will start immediately. It has been saved. All right so now when i'm i've saved it i can take it to pixel lab all right I, and i can do i can do this i can bring this in change this to black all right change this color to sorry white all right so i can import my design now all right i mean the one i just downloaded which is this one here i can import it right here Okay, so you have here you have it. You can use it to do whatever you want to do. My name is Niamuda. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and come back for more.